first, let me start by telling you that geomagnetic research in physics span across the entire Earth, from the Earth interior to the very upper atmosphere of the Earth. Atmospheric physics is the application of physics to the study of atmosphere. Geophysics of the Earth interior and geophysics of, of the upper atmosphere are interrelated and none can possibly be isolated from one another. Two parameters that are very, very crucial in studying these two fields and control the ionospheric dynamo are the distribution of the winds and the electric conductivity of the ionosphere. Therefore, invariably, these parameters are influenced by several other factors. The factors are solar cycle, solar flares, solar eclipse, the orbital parameter of the Earth, the Sun, and the Moon. The above parameters are very, very necessary as they constitute the backbone of the research in geomagnetism. For the past many years, nearly 30 years, my dedicated and painstaking research has resulted in significant and outstanding contributions in my area that immensely helped in simplifying and understanding the rather complex atmospheric phenomena. Consequently, it has led to the better understanding of geomagnetic research and the equatorial electrojet phenomena. It is remarkable to note that one of my research findings was attributed to sea induction. A result that generated serious academic dispute in literature, which ended in my favor. My work has been recognized both nationally and internationally. My current research work with my PhD students have discovered that a new technique using a solar wire depth variation, SQ, in mapping the mantle conductivity in Africa yielded positive and interesting results. Prominent in my pursuit, out of my hard work and perseverance, I won the Laurie UNESCO Award for Women in Science for the Physical Science in 2013, an award that I was given for my significant contributions to the understanding of daily variation in the upper atmosphere which may further our understanding of climate change. Based on this and other works, I have successfully supervised 28 PhD students and 36 MSc students. I'm still supervising many of these postgraduate students. I've published from this work over 125 papers in international journals and 20 minor publications, articles, and 15 books. That is the summary of my work.